Hello everyone, this is Ethan Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So I thought I was recording, but turns out I'm too brain dead to realize that I wasn't, so we're on turn two right now. But we have this pretty decent team here, just, you know, casual plus ten merges on basically everyone. <laughs> Standard uh, infantry pulse and then times pulse greed setup to get up some specials turn one. Of course the... Flash plus healer to prevent counterattacks, which can definitely devastate some strategies. And pretty decent levels on structures. So we're basically just gonna chuck Nino in here. <laughs> Break the panic manner, hit and turn. That's kind of our strat here. And uh, the, the whole idea is at this location, Agren and Ursula can't reach. And Maribel's better use restore. There's absolutely no reason for her to attack. If she does attack, well, we all know what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, but okay. Nino's too fast to five Fina, so even too though we're, we're, we'll be at, uh, I believe, 62 speed, so way overkill for that kill margin. And Distant Guard's over here, so that's never going to buff. So we can even just straight up one-shot Fina for an advantage range, which is great. Same deal with Micaiah and Yoon. Uh, Nino just gets, if you don't, if you're not familiar, uh, 86 with the max buffs, and then 81 here, 88 in Brazen, 97, 100, which uh, is more than enough to one-shot all these buddies. 100 is barely enough to pick up the kill on Fina, I believe. Unless I, of course, miscalculated something, but at this point, do we really care? No. <laughs> um, so, of course, we're not going to break the Armored Skull. That gives us more space, and, of course, space is what we like. So, we're going to break this, because we can. Technically speaking, probably not the greatest idea, uh, but we're just going to hit and turn like this. What could possibly go wrong, Kappa? Bit of lag there, but uh, yeah, if we were in brazen range, we beat that Fina barely. Uh, but we're just gonna advantage kill here to our advantage, and of course, because of how the AI works, we can cheese them out here at this point. You know, uh, unfortunately, is getting debuffed by. Wait, what is she getting debuffed by? Yes. Why is there minus seven? I know we pick up that kill. We also can pick up the kill on the Gren very easily. And Maribel uh, can't one run KO Julia. Her res is too high. <laughs> so that'll be fine. Um, it's mostly just Nino versus Maribel. And because we have um, attack smoke, we're fine there as well. So here, let's actually just compute real quick. 86, yeah, that's more than enough, way overkill. So we can be a little more aggressive, I believe, in terms of trying to grab the ether structures. I'm not mistaken here. Let me just check some things real quick. Okay, okay, and do this, and do this. And then we can just break this, why not? And we're also just additionally buffing. So we should be fine here. Maribel should be attacking Nino. Yep. Doesn't double here. So we should be fine to just go pick up the ether structures. Uh, we can go ahead and smite as well. And it should be a pretty straightforward win at this point. Because Maribel cannot 1v1 Nino and double anymore, or have any chance of doubling. So a pretty straightforward win. Uh, definitely was a bit scary, but the fact they had a restored healer means we could exploit their single dancer, and so that's what we did. Uh, how do we want to beat Maribel now, though? Good question. <laughs> um... All right, we're gonna go for the style play, Kappa. <laughs> style play, here we go. So worst case scenario, if this isn't enough, uh, yeah, that's enough. 
we could always smite Peony out or just put Nino in front like that. So Maribel wouldn't be able to attack Peony, but a uh, pretty straightforward match there. Uh, nothing too mind-blowing. Definitely a lot scarier with the mergers, of course. And I feel like if Fina had a bit more investment, things could have gone even scarier. But like usual, doing all right so far. I believe perfect on defense so far. Well, that's probably going to change super quickly. But in the meantime, because we do our Ether Raids matches early and spam all our Ether, we always tend to like hang out in top 50 <laughs> for a while before everyone just casually outscores us on lift because it's only a plus 170 lift team and we get kicked out of the elite top 50 but someday we'll we'll get there <laughs> but until then thanks for watching as always this is Easter Dragon and hope to see you all next time bye I guess actually before I mention it um, I, I should probably should mention that I don't think I said it but original setup was Maribel was you can go back to the video to look but Maribel was where Fina started and Maribel started one tile above where Fina was when you saw her at the beginning of turn two uh, that was because of ground orders so <laughs> I believe Maribel just restored in place and then Fina danced from teleporting thanks to Yoon having ground orders. So that Yoon definitely could be spoopy for some folks because it was ground orders, aerobatics, and guidance. So I could totally see things going on, but it's a pretty straightforward team. Like there weren't any rallies or anything. It was just restore and a bunch of assistless units. But anyways, enough ranting. Until next time.